Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another Dust and Discuss. Although I've been thinking about renaming this type of series to something more accurate, since just like the last Dust and Discuss, I'm going to be complaining about a Nendroid in this one. So maybe I should rebrand this type of video to like Dust and Compl Complain? Dust and Complain? Dust and Die internally? Die internally? <laughs> That, that was a close one. As you read in the title, today we are talking about the new, newly announced and recently put up for pre-order Noragami Yato Nendroid. Let me preface this by saying, even though I am very, very upset with a lot of the things that I'm going to be mentioning about this figure, I am also insanely grateful we even got a Yato Nendroid in 2024. Granted, it's probably because the manga recently ended and so I guess there's been more attention on the series since then. I don't I don't really know what the correlation there is. I am genuinely so grateful that we have a Yato Nendroid or any type of Noragami merch in 2024. So I'm prefacing that by saying that um, I'm sure all the Noragami fans are kicking their feet right now and living their best figure collecting life because of this announcement. But what kind of video <laughs> would this be if that's all I had to say? So this one's for the Noragami fans or just people who are constantly disappointed by a good smile lately. So grab your brush. Where is mine? Here it is. Uh, and your figures. And uh, let's get started. <laughs> that was a long intro. Sorry about that. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. Please make sure you let me know what you think in the comment section below. I especially want to hear from people who have been constantly disappointed by Good Smile lately. And also, of course, the Noragami fans. Overall, I think he looks good. The sculpt is fine. I think he looks like Yato. He looks good in that sense. My main issue lies with again the lack of accessories and the bland faceplate so i'm gonna start off with the faceplates okay so i have him pulled up here faceplates he comes with a regular smiling default face it's kind of a grin it's not kind of it is a grin and i think it looks cute actually i'm i'm usually not too fond of like regular smiling faceplates because they just seem so boring to me or like default faces I should say because they seem so boring to me but I think in Yato's case it kind of does match him you know the face he's making here kind of resembles the face he makes when he first meets Hyori and she asks who he is and he's he makes a smiling face similar to this and he says he's a god I'll try to find like photo of that exact face and put them side by side so it's kind of similar to that I think that's mainly why it doesn't really bother me that much either it's because I can actually put a pin on where I would have seen him make this face to begin with the next face plate is this kind of mad face it's okay it's not something I would I understand why it's there. I think it's a good one to have, especially because he does come with his uh, Seki. So uh, it's fine. <laughs> it's good. I will say though, the one thing I noticed that I really like about these faceplates is when he's smiling, he has this like light in his eyes. And then when it comes to his angry face or his fighting face or whatever you want to call it, that light dis disappears. I think that's a really great attention to detail there. So good job. Good smile. <laughs> I'll give you points for that one. Okay, and then the last faceplate is actually my favorite. It's this silly face with his tongue sticking out and he kind of has these cat eyes and he's blushing and he's so adorable. Like this is the Yato I know pretty much. Like, oh, he's so goofy. And when it comes to Nendroids, when I pre-order them, I can never really decide what pose I'm going to put them in until the figure actually comes comes in and I can <laughs> just decide then. And even then when it comes in, it takes me forever to decide how I wanna pose them. For this figure, I know exactly how I'm going to pose it. I think I'm gonna have this silly face and then, um, spoiler alert, he comes with his like little gold crown. So I think I'm gonna put that on top of him and it's he's gonna be so cute so cute uh he's, he's oh he's so cute i'm actually so excited i know i'm complaining about i know this is a video of me complaining about this but i just saw this silly face and it 
made me fall in love all over again. Okay, so those are all the faces. I will say it sucks that he only gets three face plates. And that's usually the default number for Nendroids. I wish they could have included a bonus face. So sometimes Good Smile, and you probably already know this if you own Good Smile items, they sometimes add bonus items. But with this Nendroid, for some reason, they didn't. So not a backdrop, not like an extra part, not an extra faceplate. I almost wish they added a bonus to this because then they could have made a faceplate with that iconic scene where he, again, he has like a cat face and he's being a little shit <laughs> and drinking Hiyori's dad's beer out of his their fridge. I will add the face over here in case you forgot it, but it's so iconic. I feel like people who don't even know who Yato is has, has, has have seen this face. I, I feel like they could have made that a bonus, um, but they didn't. I'm a little disappointed, but I also really do love this silly face that is included in this. Just a suggestion, good smile, if you want to add something before this figure releases. Not that you're watching. Okay, you know what? So far, I'm not even complaining. I'm just giving really good critique, I think. The really good part is debatable, but I think I'm just giving constructive criticism here. The last Dustin Discuss, I was going hard <laughs> on the non on Android, and this, this, this feels a little more mellowed out. I feel like I, there are really good positive parts here. So it's not as bad as the non on Android. Let's get to the accessories. First up, the biggest thing I was excited about was, as mentioned before, the crown he comes with. This is the crown that I'm going to use to display him with that silly face. I think it's gonna look so good. The only thing here, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, let me know if you agree or disagree, but I think the crown is too quote unquote realistic. It looks too metallic. It looks too, maybe even too tall. I think the crown that he's supposed to wear is supposed to be this like, just like <laughs> doodle crown or something, just a silly crown. And instead of gold, it's more yellow. It's basically supposed to match. I feel like it should match the crown that's on his tracksuit. Maybe I'm okay with either or, but I would have preferred it to be that like silly crown that you just put on him. So next up is the five yen coin. Essential, very essential, not mad about it. I don't really have anything to say about that. Um, I obviously would feel like something is missing if he didn't come with it. But this also kind of made me think whether I would prefer instead of him holding a five yen coin, or maybe this could have been a bonus and not the faceplate. I wonder if they could have given him a bottle, the bottle he holds, filled with five yen coins, basically. Now, I do have a scale figure of Yato, and he comes with a five yen coin bottle so i guess I, I guess i technically already have one but this is for people who don't own any of the anoragami figures or the yato figures specifically also i feel like yes it makes sense for him to be holding the single five yen coin because that's what he does uh in the show too so it's not like it's straying from canon but i think the bottle of yen if they had to be choose between them i think the bottle would be more convenient just because the five yen coin individually is so small and you can just easily lose that piece so that's the only concern i have about that one okay so last but not least he comes with seki which is basically yukine in his sword form or whatever and yeah obviously that's a given but when i saw that he came with seki i was also wondering about another possible bonus if the of the if the bottle of yen coin was a no-go or even the extra faceplate was a no-go i think it would have been really cool if as a bonus and this would have been really easy because it's like it would have been so small but if they included yukine when he was like a little sprite like that furry little ball thing it would have been so cute and then he can like float next to yato and he'd have his like own stand. You know how sometimes they add like a little skinny stand? 
to attach on the Nendroid base. I think it would have been so cute. But okay, overall, now that I'm like making the video and like actually talking about it out loud, I still feel really excited about this figure. Yeah, I think everything else is like pretty spot on. Uh, I'm just scrolling through the uh, My Figure Collection comments really quick to see if there's any opinions negative opinions or thoughts about this so far <laughs> i think everybody has their rose colored glasses on and are just grateful understandably so that we're getting a yaton android in general maybe this will also um wake mega house up to re-release their original yato figure or maybe this will encourage other companies to make an actual scale figure so let me just take a look really quick i don't think i see anything negative it's mostly people um wanting hyori and yukine ones to go with him that's probably going to take a little bit i do think there's a possibility that it will happen but i don't want to say for sure because again going back to the nana nendroid they announced Nana, but they never announced Hachi at the time, and they still haven't announced Hachi, which is weird. It's like, I don't know. Oh, okay, so somebody did mention he doesn't have the bottle of 5 yen or this. That's another one. Oh, that's what I was so pissed about. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, I knew there was something missing. I knew there was something that made me so <laughs> upset. Y'all, my, ra <laughs> my rage is back. Okay, I think that's what made me so upset about this Nendroid. Ah, uh, I can't believe I forgot. <laughs> I think I like blocked it out. <laughs> he doesn't come with a shrine. Y'all, he doesn't come with his shrine. What In what world does that make any sense? What world do you not give him a shrine? I'm not talking about this big old grand thing. I'm talking about the shrine that Hyori spent her blood, sweat, and tears and hours making. That one important scene. The one most important scene. <laughs> Scrap the entire video. I hate it. Why would you not? Oh my god. I literally, I, yeah, that's what I, okay. Now I remember where my rage went. <laughs> that could have been a bonus too, but I feel like that should not be a bo bonus. I think that should be a given. I'm sure they probably considered it, but they knew they had what, like a three accessory limit. So they were trying to gauge like which one is more important. I think if I were to take anything out, I don't know. I guess with the face plates that he has, that he comes with currently, giving him a shrine wouldn't make sense. I feel like you would need to add like a crying face, which doesn't make sense either to give him a crying face. I don't know. I just feel like he should have a shrine. It just feels weird, right? Him not having a shrine, at least to me. Like the one thing he dreams of and he doesn't even get it. That's crazy crazy. All right, y'all, I'm editing this video in bed currently, so excuse the background and the lighting, um, but I was thinking more about why they probably didn't include Yato's shrine as an accessory in this release, and I've come to the conclusion, and call me a genius, if you will, it's probably because if they were to release a Hyori Nendroid, they would probably include it with her, even though technically it's Yato's shrine she at least made it for him so it still kind of makes sense if it would be included with her and that would help not sacrifice the current accessories that he comes with because I feel like the current accessories Yato comes with are also really necessary right it wouldn't be the same if he didn't come with Seki it wouldn't be the same if he didn't have some form of yen and then the crown is just fun. I feel like the crown makes sense in terms of A, the faceplate he comes with, the silly one, and then just, I don't know, it just, it just feels more fun. So there's that. And then also I see Good Smile struggling to figure out what accessories to include with Yori's Android. So that can also help. So I'm guessing she would come with a shrine. That would be one. I'm wondering if they would count like her tail as an accessory. I'm hoping they don't. But again, I see them really struggling with what to include as an accessory. But yeah, main point is that's probably why they didn't include Yato's shrine with his Nendroid. That would probably also help sell Hyori's Nendroid too. Even though I honestly don't think they need help selling yet. Yeah. Hyori's an android but anyways so yeah those are my thoughts on, on why his shrine probably wasn't included let me know what you think back to the video all right let's see if there's anything else yeah that just like 
unlocked my rage that like <laughs> forgot oh, I got distracted by the silly face somebody said I wish he had his cat face I think but I do but I do love the little crown and I think the cat face meaning the one I was talking about earlier with when he snuck into Hiyori's house and drank her dad's beer but he does have something at least similar which is the silly face with the peace sign and the tongue out so I'm not too upset about it I was just giving suggestions shocked he doesn't come with a sh shrine yeah. I think he's one of the few Nendroids I'd pre-order on Good Smile Company if there is an extra bonus with him, regardless of what it might be. Uh, nothing. So there's that. It looks like we agree on the shrine. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'd be so curious to know, especially because this is one of those things where it's like, I should be grateful that we're getting a figure of this character uh, in the first place, but it's also like, I also deserve a good quality figure for the amount I'm paying for it, right? So yeah, I'd be curious to know what you guys think. I'd be curious to know what everybody thinks, but I especially want to hear from Noragami fans because I know this is one, this is a character, this is a fandom, a fan base, and a series that we're very passionate about because of how little attention it gets. So when it does get some attention, we're like, it's a, it, 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 it's a world event. <laughs> you save the date. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye.